Welcome to Rugby 101. In this video, we hope to broaden your rugby education. So let's get started. Remember that most of the skills shown here can be honed in the practice mode. All right, let's take a look at some of the basics of rugby, starting first of all with the rugby pitch itself. The playing surface is 100 meters long with a try line at each end of the field and two side lines on either side. Each team has 15 players on the field at the start of a match. These players are broken up into two categories known as forwards and backs. The forwards are the strong men on the front lines who help move your team up the field. They are also the players that pack into scrums and form lineouts. The backs are the sleek, faster running players who perform most of the ball handling, kicking and scoring attempts. The first action of the game is the kickoff. At the start of each half and after a team scores points, there's a kick from the 50 meter line. Players converge on the tackled player to either retain possession of the ball or to try and steal it away from him. This convergence of players is called a ruck. Wherever the ball is positioned on a rugby field, an offside line is created that separates the two teams. The players must remain on their team side of the line in order to avoid conceding an offside penalty. In the sport of rugby, all passes have to be thrown backwards. Passing in a forward direction is illegal. The referee will call a stop to play and your team will instantly be stripped of possession of the ball. Running, getting tackled and recycling the ball is the most basic way to gain field advantage and get over the other team's try line. There is another way though to move the ball upfield. By kicking the ball you can gain field position and help take the pressure off a team when they're deep in defence. During general play the most common kick used is a punt to gain territory. A player would do this by punting the ball up the field and into touch to force a line-out contest. Another attacking type of kick you have at your disposal is the grubber, whereby you kick the ball past the defenders for your running players to chase onto. The up and under kick launches the ball high for your players to run onto and attempt to regain possession by jumping for the catch or collecting it before the opposition does. Knock-ons and forward passes result in the referee awarding a scrum to the opposition team. As well as being formed after knock-ons and forward passes, a scrum may be called for in other circumstances in general play, where the ball became unplayable or was made dead. A scrum is a test of strength between the two teams. When the referee gives the signal to engage, the two packs come together by locking heads. Ultimately, the team who feeds the scrum has the greater chance of gaining possession of the ball. A line-out is formed whenever the ball crosses the touchline on either side of the field. The players in the line-out execute moves to try to gain possession of the ball for their team. This may include lifting teammates high into the air so they can make an attempt at catching the ball. When the referee calls a penalty, the team awarded the penalty has four options to choose from as to how they wish to play the ball. A try is awarded when a player grounds the ball on or over the opposition's goal line. A try is worth five points to your team's score. After you score a try, you're given a chance to make a conversion worth two points. This is done by kicking the ball through the uprights from a place kick or a drop kick. Another way you can score points in the game of rugby is through a drop goal. If the drop goal attempt is successful, you're awarded three points. If the opposition commits an infringement and you're awarded a penalty close to your opponent's try line, you may opt to take a penalty kick for goal. This kick is taken from the point where the penalty occurred. If the kick is successful, your team is awarded three points. These are the basics of rugby. While there is a lot more to learn, this brief introduction should give you the background to excel at Rugby 2005.